Good evening. I'm David Scott. This is some story. The victim was taken to Brackenridge Hospital with a broken hip, broken leg after the 3 a.m. crash. Now, that home is located off FM 812 south of the airport. The driver that hit the home has been arrested and charged with DWR. Yep. KXN's Jacqueline Inglis going to fly with more. And Jackie, from the looks of it, this home was really devastated. David, I want you to take a look at what that suspected drunk driver left behind. The scene suggests the man veered off the road, crossing oncoming traffic, even taking out a gate, and then hit this home. You can see the front part of it has been ripped off. Workers were out just a bit ago putting up this blue protective tarp, but we were able to pull it back to show you what once was a bedroom. I heard a kaboom. A kaboom and then a flash of light when I was getting up out of my bed. Julie Walford awoke to find a man veered off FM 812 and plowed through her mother's house with his Ford truck, smashing the bedroom to bits. The horror itself, just seeing what had happened, you know, it was devastating. Her mother, Felicita Fisher, had been dragged under the truck and was calling out to her daughter for help. The walls were blown out. And I couldn't, I couldn't think what could have happened. By the time she found her mother, he had gotten out of his truck and was dragging her from the back, behind the back wheel. Julie had already called police. She said she asked the man to stay and wait for help to arrive, but the man took off on foot. Her mother lay on the ground with a broken hip and leg. He just walked on down the road, but all he could say was, ay, mamacita, ay, mamacita. Sheriff's deputies brought dogs out and found the man, whose identity they have not released, a block away. He was arrested and charged with DWI. I could have lost her, you know, to a drunk driver, because he was definitely drunk. The truck plowed over the head of her bed. Walford believes the only reason her mother lived was because of an odd sleeping habit. She lays with her head at the foot of the bed, not her feet. Felicita Fisher was reported in stable condition tonight at Brackenridge Hospital. Family coming in to see her from as far away as San Antonio. As for the home, Walford tells me she's not sure if it can be repaired or if it'll need to be knocked down. We're live in Southeast Travis County, Jacqueline Inglis, KXAN, Austin News.